Okay, so we're going to do a little fireworks thing today. This might be a two-part video, but first thing I'm going to do is go into the project that I'm going to modify, and I'm going to change everything so that I'm backing everything up. And today's the 25th of September. Excuse me. And this is all we need. We need the main file, we need the vertex shader and the fragment shader. <coughs> so now the trick is to load it up. It's going to freak out because the files aren't there. Okay. So, could not find the file. Okay. Give me a second. Open with. Actually, am I thinking about this wrong? Let's just... Remove that. Add... Existing. Oh, duh, what am I doing? Nerr. I should have just kept it. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just waking up. <coughs> Being a freak, apparently. So there's that. So let's just go into this one. Just see if it'll open. Oh, it opens a whole new instance of. Okay. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay. Are we done loading? Could have just. Did that go into Visual Studio 2015? Ah, okay, whatever. That is weird. See, now we're in 2017. Well, at least I know 2015 still works and doesn't require any updates that it detected right away. So. Anyway, so we got that. <coughs> and what we have to do with this... Am I recording? <laughs> I'm so out of it this morning. So completely just out of it. Not even with it. <clears throat> okay, and the trick here is to compile and run. Run! Wish I could get rid of all of these errors. Here's one. Oh, because uh, some of these aren't Fs. Bet you that'll get rid of that one. Okay. So we'll, oh, I bet you when I switch over to GLAD. <coughs> excuse me. Whew. Okay, so it still works and there's a cruddy rotation that, okay. We're just gonna go with pre-rotated sprites for that. But anyways, we're not going to even use that. So first of all, let's take out um, the ship. We're not going to need it. Ship position, float, ship speed, ship rotation, ship scale. The hell was all that? Init ship, move ship, init ship we don't need, init cubes we'll keep. Oh, I declared my init functions before the main, and then I declared my move functions after. Okay. Alrighty, Jeff. Whatever. Whatever. <coughs> Ship rotation. Ship rotation we don't need. Some stuff up here. Okay, move the ship. We don't need that. Vertex area, draw the ship. So we don't need any of this stuff. VAO2, scale, transform, bind texture. We don't need any of that. Boom. Okay. We don't need the ship texture. 
star. You don't need the ship vertices, which is just a basic square. It's only one. Okay, let's see what I broke. Let's see how this works. Broke something. <laughs> Ship verts is undefined. Well, we don't need. Oh, yeah, here's the VAO2. I should have, yeah. So VAO2, VBO2, we don't need. There. Error list. Okay. Right here. <clears throat> uh -oh. I have to actually pay attention. <laughs> Draw stars, and then so we don't need any of this. But you know what? Let's just comment it out. We don't need any of that, pretty sure. Now what's it doing? Oh, just eight warnings, okay. Oh, so it still works great. So now it's just a matter of changing init stars and move stars. Okay, great. So now all I have to do is change my init cubes. All right, whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, when I initialize them, I just want them at some. I want them all at one random spot on the screen. So we're just gonna go like this. Um, what is that? A float? Uh, what do, do we only need it in the function? So gl float. Um, we'll just call it x start equals computer what's this why is that giving an error oh does it have to be a small f excuse me pardon me pardon me excuse me coming through pardon me excuse me <laughs> so we'll take it out of there come up here okay excuse me that's okay if I was not lazy and edited my videos you wouldn't have heard that but <laughs> Sorry, okay, x start, y start. So now we're just going to set the random position once, and then, yeah. Although the random position, oh, that's right, duh, this starts at a corner of the screen because they all kind of float, no, I'm float, they all kind of just go to the one side. So let's change this, random 200 divided by 100 minus 1. Speed. Position, rotation, okay, so. <clears throat> so what we want to do, yeah, is initialize each one. Um, let's just see what this does. Yeah, they all start at one spot, and then they randomly... Oh, and because there's another... There's another initialization when they hit the edge of the screen, so hold on. Because it doesn't just call. It's right in here. Uh... Oh, it just cycles it. Okay, so, all right. Huh. So with fireworks, though, what we want is a random position, um, a speed. We want a random speed, and we want a random... Uh, we don't care about rotation. And actually, the speed is not going to be random this way. Oh, I see, because when I apply the... Um, 
it's the way that I apply the speed. Hold on. See, it's just x and y, and it's the same speed. So we're going to need a different speed for each x and each y because we're going to have to apply trigonometry. Trigonometry. Okay, so cube. Cube speed. Where's that? GL float. Oh. Well, let's just do a. Um, Can we do a vector 2 here? Vector 2? Cube speed? And then here we can go cube speed dot x. Perfect. Come on. Say that's okay. Let's just, let's be okay with that. Why is it not okay with that? Oh, now it is okay, good. <clears throat> well, for now, it'll just be random. But. So there's that, and then when we go down to move speed, oh, it tells me already, so. Q positions. This will be interesting to see. It's not going to be how it works at all, but I just want to see what it does. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's kind of an explosion. It's just from, yeah, not the way we want, though. Interesting. <laughs> Actually, this is kind of hypnotic. I'm a little bit. <laughs> we control the horizontal. <laughs> we control the vertical. I wonder if it'll all come back and coalesce into one eventually, or if they'll just keep doing that. Let's watch for another second. Hold on. <laughs> don't know why I'm watching this, but it's kind of cool. No, I don't think it will. I think it would eventually, but not quickly. <laughs> Okay, so the cube speed, now we have to initialize it too, because we have this, which is not good. <laughs> <coughs> so what we need is an initial speed and then a direction vector, and then we apply trigonometry to that. Okay, so let's try this GL float um, init speed equals it's going to be that. Okay. And then an, an initial angle. So it's init I think the angle is like if you're if it's in radians you have to give this do I even have the sign the math stuff in here no so I have to include math and then I have to okay but I've done that recently in where's the here okay so just include math and then it's sine, and then it's a float, right? Or the sine, I think, returns a double or whatever. Okay, so we just include math. Pretty sure that's all we do. So let's come up here and... <clears throat> there we go. And then the initial angle. How did I do angles here? I divided by 2. Oh, right. Times 0.523. Oh, that's right, because 5, 2, 3. So, yep, so it's 6.28. So you just feed it a, a radians, which is fun. So the sign, okay, so what am I doing? <laughs> 
So you want a random number between 0 and 6.28. So to get that, we have to go up here. I'll just grab this. It's easier. It's easier. Because this one's a random number between... Let's do it this way, 628, <clears throat> then divide by 100, minus 1. That should work. Wait, minus 1? No, we don't want that. We just want that. So a random number between 0 and 628, or 627, okay, divided by 100. That will give you... 0 to 6.27, theoretically. And that's your initial angle. And so then you just go. Then what you want to do is vertices. OK, so why do I use a float? Why not GL float? I don't know. Okay. I don't know why I'm looking back at that code. But, but. So right here, we want, uh, let's just, for now, get this out of the way. We want this to equal, I think, does do I have to, x it uses the sign? Well, let's see. <laughs> Pretty sure that's right, because at one point I thought about this, and it was right. <laughs> the sign of init angle, OK? <clears throat> which is in radians from 0 to 627, which is all 360 degrees, times init speed, okay? So that will give you the speed. doesn't seem to have any errors. So cosine init angle times init speed. What? Has a problem with cosine? What? What? So now they're going to go, okay, let's see what that does. Let's see what that does. Hey, what do you know? It's an explosion. <clears throat> that is pretty darn cool. Okay, well, for now, I've already got the video up to 17 minutes, so I'm going to stop it right there. We're going to call that Fireworks 1. What we're going to have to do is give, make a, create a more, um, a more robust particle system, as you were, as it were, and uh, give the particles, like, maybe a bigger uh, size when they start out, and then shrink them down, and then phase them out, and then have a particle life, lifetime, and re, uh, so the explosion doesn't, anyways. You'll see. Stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe, even though I um, coughed and or burped, and now I'm hiccuping in the video stream. So <laughs> thank you all. Have a good day. Goodbye.